Okay, extracting honey, a great part of beekeeping. Um, this is kind of just a self-taught how I learned to, uh, to get the honey off. Um, so take that with a grain of salt. Um, the first year we did extracting, I just took a um, scraper and just scraped the comb, the honey, uh, the cappings, everything into a big um, bowl, sifted that through some cheesecloth, and um, basically left it overnight so it could all drain out. And um, that's my honey. You mess up the comb doing that. Uh, it's kind of messy and slow. Uh, so using a centrifuge is certainly a more conventional and better way to do that. The first step we do is we need to um, remove the capping before we put in a centrifuge, which is going to spin the honey out of the uh, comb. Uh, a lot of people use the a hot knife. I, I tried a hot knife um, and it seemed like it took too much of the um, honey off. It, it, I, I'm just trying to take that top layer of, of capping off. So I, I didn't really love the, um, the hot knife. So instead of the hot knife, I went to this, which is a, it's got little pricks. It, it pulls off that, that little layer of a, of a comb. Let me show you how that works. So you just get those, those, those tines right in the little, pulling off. You can see that a really nice job of just getting a nice thin layer of comb, very little honey, or just that capping. So um, that actually works fairly well. Um, it's kind of time consuming. Um, it works well on a frame like this, which is, this frame is nice and smooth. Um, sometimes your, your comb is bumpy and, and this does not do a great job of that. So then we listen to our mentors, Cindy and Manny. And they, they suggested using uh, this roller. It's got um, sharp tines on it. And we, I actually have had good luck with this. You roll this over the comb and it just punctures little holes so the wax can come out. The big advantage is it's very fast. The scraper it's tedious and takes a long time and it's a little bit messy. Um, with using this, you have to be, watch out for little um, areas you don't get. So you kind of do different directions. You do diagonal, back and forth, side to side a little bit, maybe a little up and down to open up all those, um, those cappings. And then finally, um, the last little tool, just a little scraper which you can use instead of that actually. But it also, if you just have a couple little things left, little holes left, just cappings left, that opens up those little cappings. Okay, so once, once you have all the little cells um, on both sides uncapped, we're just going to drop it into the centrifuge. This is a two, um, two frame centrifuge, so we're going to do one more and then we'll get to the next step. Okay, I've taken uh, the two frames of honey, put it into the centrifuge. We're going to spin it around. It's a fairly good idea to close this drain hole before, not after, you start extracting the honey. <clears throat> so I've got a manual crank centrifuge, which I did a couple times and it's just a pain. It spins around and it's hard to work. So I, I recommend throwing the handle away 
and giving something electric. So then you've got yourself a motorized centrifuge. So one tip I have is you can be spinning this for surprisingly long time and you look in and you think you're all done, no more honey is coming off the frames. I use a flashlight to shine a light down the side and you can really see honey still coming off. So you keep doing it for way longer than you expect and you'll still get more and more honey. So we've extracted all of our honey into our centrifuge. It looks something like that, if you can see that. So the next step we're going to do is filter our honey. I've got a five gallon bucket. It's a good idea to close this before you start uh, draining the centrifuge. So it's got a 400 micron filter which we hadn't used before and I tested it the other day and it did collect some sediment so we're going to use that again. This is the more traditional, uh, we've got a very coarse filter and a more fine filter. So it's going to do, go through the coarse, through the fine, through the 400 mil micron mesh. Just take that there. Get all excited and start draining your honey. Okay, down to the final step. We um, uncapped the honey, spun it around in a centrifuge, drain, filtered it through three layers of the varying coarseness of a filter. And now, the fun part. your cap on, take your label, stick your label on, and you got your My Honey and the Bees. <laughs>